today we are here in an F34 GT3 series. If you've watched the F30 video, if you happen to stumble across that and you have an F34, same center channel process, same rear door process. Hell, the front door removal is the same. The only difference is the, the front tweeter assemblies. So we did want to show you that. I mean, it's, it's very self-explanatory, but you are unique enough to buy this car. So we're going to make you your own video. So, um, Got the train coming by, it must be four o'clock. Uh, let's get started. We've got the car on, we're gonna go into our settings. We're gonna talk a little bit about the bass, the treble, etc. So we hop into our tone, and again, this is the hi-fi tuning. This is uh, relevant to both sedan and coupes, three and four series. So boy, look at that, he had his factory treble wide open. Um, I actually kinda like it around plus one. Bass flat, always flat. Um, it's absolutely key to keeping this car balanced. If you're a little bit older, um, in your 40s, 50s, 60s, you can have a little bit more fun with this, only because a lot of, you know, we're losing that top end of our hearing, so. But it does still increase the distortion over uh, above 2500 hertz, so kind of be aware of that. Um, so, you know, somewhere around there, two, three, four for you guys in your 70s. <laughs> uh, or if you've been to a lot of rock concerts, uh, but bass always flat always always flat in these cars it's absolutely critical uh, you're not going to create any more bass in the car by turning that up uh, it's just going to increase the distortion so that's all we're doing with our settings so the first thing we're going to do you have this piece here in this particular car this is aluminum yours could be plastic it could be plud grain um, and it could be craven fibre perhaps even uh, so we need to take this off and it's going to reveal a bolt here and a bolt here and then the rest of the door is just held on by a series of clips and snaps on this outer perimeter. So let's get started. Again, using our plastic panel removal tool. Do not use metal on this, specifically on this aluminum because it will mar it permanently. So you guys can't see it from the camera, but when you look back here, there's a nice little indentation here and here. So look at that. It just fits right in there. Just put it in and just take it, give it a little turn like so and then the seam you can see the seam here separates and then you just have a little uh, panel removal but there's a clip down here we need to be conscientious of so we're going to actually come off the top and then we're going to unhook from the bottom so now let's see if you guys can kind of come in here a little tight you can see down here, there's a little tab. And you'll see when I get it out of here. You see this little tab? It hooks behind this little metal tab right here. So we're effectively coming forward and out. And then when we put it back on, we go in, back, and snap. So that's kind of the principle there. So put this off to the side. We don't want to scratch it. And then we're going to grab our Bavsound toolkit. We're going to get out our screwdriver with the different bit holder and we're going to put in our Torx T20. And we're going to remove these bolts. This is a very exciting process. I am going to turn this screwdriver to the left until the screw removes from its hole. And if you needed me to tell you that. I highly suggest having a professional handle the installation. So that is something that you should have had a pretty firm grasp on for a few years at this point. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, as, uh, as they say. All right, so with those two screws out, the entire door is ready to be removed. Um, again, plastic panel removal tool. The metal panel removal tool is to be used on the back side when we're prying out little harnesses and such. This does not get used on the front of the panel. It's just too burly and it will uh, wreak havoc on the panel. So what I like to do, get this little edge, this just, you can just see, just goes right behind the door like so. And you just get it back there and just pull, just, you know, get a couple of the clips popped. And once a couple of the clips are popped, they all kind of want to come to the party. So then you just take a nice firm grip. What? That's good that it's tight. So we'll work a couple more out. Again, that's why we have this tool. 
And then, using our hand, there's two right here that are super tight. Look at that. Panel is effectively, now it's just being held on the top. So what I'm gonna do, show you guys, grab the panel and using our thumb up here. Look at that, panel is off. We only left one little clip in, so we'll snag that afterwards. Now, we grab our panel removal tool, the metal one. We unhook the little tabs here. Like so. Boy, that is a, uh, when you can't see with the lights in your eyes, that is tough. There we go. And then, something to be very, very, very conscientious of, is right here, at the LED kind of mood lighting connector. This thing is somewhat fragile. Just, just be very conscientious when you're unplugging that. Just pop this little guy out here. Careful not to smash your thumb. We pop all these little guys out of their housings. They're all gonna just snap right back in when we're done. Unplug our light. Like so, unplug our window switch. And lastly, we have our door handle. So we just unhook it from there. All we do is lift up and out. So you can see how that, when you put it back on, you just close the hand, that, that's the door handle closed, that's the door handle open. So you close it, like so, so just, and look at that, the door panel is off of your brand new car in a couple of minutes. And now, we're going to remove the factory mid-range driver, the factory tweeter assembly, subsequently tweeter. So, again, 20 millimeter, or Torx T20. Three bolts, holding her in. Look at this sad little speaker. Wimpy sound, no more. So, just pull it out, unplug it, like so. So this one goes up to the tweeter, unwrap it like that, put the mid-range in the floorboard. And the tweeter pod, you can kinda see up here, kind of wraps around this little lip here. So what we do, there's a little fat, there's a little prong about right here, and there's one down here. So the way we do it, we come off this little lip. Well, <laughs> I was trying to do it methodically. So you can see this little tab here. It hooks in this little thing. So what we want to do is we want to come out and up because we're unhooking this little tab down here. So we so put it back in there. So we slide it off of this lip, come out and up, all kind of like simultaneously, and then the thing just pops out like that. Um, it's really hard to goof this up. That was that came out a lot easier than I expected, just to give you an idea on how easy it was. So then we just pull out the foam, and we have our factory tweeter in its home. And the way we get this tweeter out, we use our little pick tool here, and we just pick it out of here, like so. Just work around the little edge, you're just prying it out. Nothing complex, and the tweeter just pops right out like so. So, we take out our BMW tweeter, we put in our BAV sound tweeter. A uh, little different there, not only obviously in terms of, of design, but of course acoustics as well. And so our BAV sound tweeter just snaps right into the housing, just like the factory speaker. The lip is precision machined, it drops right in there, done. We've got this beautiful machined aluminum ring that we can now see that matches our gauges, matches every dial across the dash. It's absolutely brilliant the way that integrates. So that's done. We can now, there's a little trick. So between your front tweeter and your front mid-range, we have a little harness which must be installed and it simply plugs in 
like so, and then this ultimately plugs into the mid-range connector. So we need to feed this through the little foam piece here. And so then we're just gonna make a little slit in this foam because I wanna, um, so just make a little slit. You can just see, just making a little slit through there because we now put our foam back in to our housing. Like so. You can see it just goes right back from whence it came. And it just goes right back down the little hole and then that goes right back in just the way we took it off. So now we're ready to put this pod back on already. Pretty darn easy, eh? So we get it situated, come around, watch this lip again like we discussed earlier. We've got the bottom hook already in, top hook waiting to go, and it snaps right in. So now what we do is we just take this little guy here. I like to just get it up out of the way, like so, and then leave this tucked around just like the factory one was and plug it into the mid-range when we install that here in just a moment. So I've cut off about a six inch by 12 inch piece out of our sound deadening kit. So you've got some for this door, some for that door, some for each door, uh, and anything left over, we just kind of add it. So I heated this up with a hairdryer just to get it a little pliable. And we just kind of come over here like so, get it all up in here and it's tacky. So get it all up in the business here. And again, there's no, so what we're trying to do here is just get it applied like so and then just taking like the back side of our panel removal tool just kind of coming around laying it down as well as we can and you can see how it just it, it adheres perfectly to the panels and the surfaces and then we just you can't have too much of this stuff and we just what this does is just bridging all the pieces together back here and then we just kind of come around you can kind of see the cutout for the speaker now Like so. And then what I like to do, you don't want to cover up these holes where the, where the door mounts. So I always just kind of come around like this with a little, just. You just don't want to goof that up. So with that out of the way, like so, this is an old, old installer trick here. So we're actually going to double up on the material. And we do that just by taking our blade. Be careful because our window is down. It would actually tell you to roll your window up if you're a novice. In fact, if you're a novice, go ahead and just plug your window switch in, roll the window up, or just be conscientious. It's not hard. Don't go in there real deep because the window's back there. And so if you've tented the window, you're gonna scratch it up. So just basically cut like so, cut like so, like so. And then we're just gonna fold this back in on itself, which will effectively double up on the material on the panel. So the speaker's mounted on a very nice dead surface. So just roll it back up around there. This is the best way to do this. This is just perfect. So now, nice dead surface for the woofer to be mounted to. So with that done, now we just kind of go and uh, let's do this a little bit. Let's get some, you can kind of see here with that. So now it's perfect. So now we just need to poke out those holes where the speaker was mounted. You just kind of feel it like that. Just to help you get, get the screw started. So there's one there, there's one up here, and there's one right here. And the best thing to do is before you put the speaker in, trust me, you don't want to poke a hole in the speaker. I always put the bit back on and I just do a couple, just a quick, make sure, start it, get a little sound editing goop down in there. It actually deadens it even further, puts a little gunk down in there to, perfect. 
Cool guys, so we've got the door panel prepped. We've got the speaker ready to go in the car. The first, we're gonna do two things, two little things to prep. For one, we're gonna take this foam ring off the front. We're actually gonna move it around to the back. I'll show you that in just a second. The second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop off this rubber boot. It's strictly aesthetic. If, this is, if you're watching this video in like later 2014, 2015, this will all be gone, but um, for right now, pop these boots off. Um, it just minimizes the exposure we have. It just minimizes clearances and things like that. So use that as a little koozie of sorts or uh, whatever you see fit. So just pop the wires down through there like that. And now you can see where this factory harness comes out. We just take our fingers, pry this insulation back because we're gonna bring the wires right up here with the factory wires. So, so just take these guys, bring them around like that. Pull them up a little bit, and down like that. And now we just line up our driver. Make sure the gasket perfect, like so. And we just start one screw, two, And again, we just make sure our little gasket perfect, like so. Take screw number three, and there she goes. Believe it or not, I think it is actually raining here in Los Angeles. I hear some rain. I'm sure, we need it. All right, snug. Don't go wrenching these things down. Just. Get them nice and snug. And then you'll notice, this is something that I decided we needed to do just to make sure that it perfectly sealed up against the door. We've custom cut these foam rings and we just peel off the adhesive backing. Like so. This goes right around the speaker. You can see it's an absolutely brilliant fit. That way when the door panel goes back on, it completely seals the front waves of the driver from the rear waves, so there's no funky cancellations or anything of that sort. And so at that point, we've got everything the way we want. So we pull our wires nice and tight, push this back down, and now we plug in our tweeter, like so. Plug in our mid-range, like so, and now Let's take a little wire tie, which of course Jason left who knows where. Uh, tie that up and we're done with the install. At this point, we'll just throw the door panel back on. So let's plug our light in first. Just come down here, plug her in. Oh, let's reconnect our little harness down here. And there's nothing funky here now. A little tricky, just bring the door in. I'm sitting on the door lip right now, so it's kind of, it's not too bad. So now we've got, let's plug our windows in first before we do our little mood lighting over here. Let's see, how can I get in here and see? It's really hard to see. So there we go. Plug in our windows like so. Snap that in. And now we can do everything else. How does that really I don't think I want. This guy right there, we plug in our little mood lighting. Put that guy in place, that guy in place, we put that guy in place. So now our harness is completely back in place. And now we roll around to our door mechanism. So it goes up through this harness. So, it taps right up in there. Remember, close the door handle, snap it in, voila. So now, we just key off the top, so we just insert the little lock rod through there, and then we kinda come through here. Everything else just lines up. I always do the top first, so just, 
All right, now the hard part is done. So the trick here, I always lift up a little bit, just not a lot. You'll feel all the little tabs just kind of key themselves. So just lift up a little bit, just kind of preliminarily check and just, and then just, Done and done, just pop our screws back in. And again, I will show you the trick to putting this cover back on. So we just reattach these two. So what's cool is this little kit, the bit is magnetic. So it holds the screws quite nicely. So, so this goes in here, this goes on top, this goes on the bottom, like that. So it just situated itself and so now the key up here is getting all these little tabs lined up and you can see them lining themselves up. And let's see what, we just gotta line up some tabs. We repeat the process on the driver's front door. It's identical to the passenger door. The only difference is the little switch, the way it unplugs on the back side, but it's very much self-explanatory on the driver's side. Uh, the methodology is the same. All right, guys, so we've just got our door panel off of here, off of the three series. Um, and I wanted to show you up here, um, this is a hi-fi car. So if your car is the Harman Kardon vehicle, You've got a little bracket up here, and you can see the cutout actually here in the door. That's where the second tweeter would be. So there's a nice little bracket here that's all molded and beautiful. The tweeter, however, eh. So anyway, we basically just snap the tweeter out of the housing, the factory tweeter. It's a very straightforward process. You can just remove it with your hands or your panel removal tool. And then our new upgraded tweeter just snaps right into the housing. It's very, it's actually gonna sit up more like that. So that's, a, that's, that's what we really wanted to show you guys. And then from there, of course, we'll have our capacitor harness, which again, so effectively what we'll do is we'll take our upgraded tweeter, plug in our capacitor harness, snap the tweeter in, and then with the wire that we bring out from behind from the mid-range, we'll plug into the tweeter here. So you'll, you'll have a secondary tweeter wire for your Harman Kardon car, we won't use it. We're using this wire. It'll connect directly to our mid-range so we get a nice, smooth rear sound stage. So just wanted to go over that with you real quick. So let's kind of pause it. We're going to get here to the mid-range and go over just bringing the wires out. Now that we have our uh, tweeters addressed, the mid-range is exactly like the front door. The routing's a little different, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you. Again, we just pop the, pop the driver out. It's not super exciting. So as always, answer an email. You're probably at the office. Answer an email and go get a cup of coffee. All right, pop the mid-range out, unplug it like so. And just like the front door, we'll take our plastic panel removal tool. And you can see, man, I gotta take this watch off. <laughs> okay, so just like that, we've got the same foam down here. So we wanna bring out our wires, we're actually gonna bring them out right down here. So the, speed, the wires are gonna come out right here on the bottom, so we take our panel removal tool again and just get some of this gummy stuff off, because all we're doing is creating a little pathway for the speaker wires to come up into the car. We take our upgraded driver. We've already done the foam rings just like we did in the front door, so if you didn't see that, watch the front door video so you have uh, clarification with that. We don't want any confusion. Although then again, it's not super confusing to begin with. Confusing enough. So again, we just snake the wires back around like so. Bring them up. Try not to get too much schmutz on them. There you go. So, and just like the other one, we, well, of course, I forgot to do it because we're filming and it makes sense. Um, our foam ring, just like in the front door, I forgot it, but we'll just show you for uh, the sake of showing you. Uh, the front ring goes on again. Put the speaker in. We pull these wires up tight. We push the door right back down. Get everything nice and airtight. And then bam, blue to blue. And then our tweeter plugs into the tweeter. 
and we're done. So I'm gonna kind of pause it right here. Actually, you know what I have done? I have gone, and actually it's all perfect like so. So again, it mounts just like that. <laughs> I hope you guys caught that. It was my little dog heading to see her mother. Um, mount the speaker back to the door and, uh, and wrap the panel back up. So I just wanted to go over the routing with you of the wire. So actually, you know what? Just for good measure, we might as well show you how to get everything snugged up. And again, we sent you an extra wire tie, again, to get this nice and snug. So we want to clean up all of our wiring back here, make sure it's perfect. I'll just show you like this. Might not put that third screw in just in the interest of time. So again, blue to blue, like so. And then our tweeter is going to plug in right here. So with the tweeter plugged in, everything is like that. We take our wire ties. We'll just get everything on this main harness right here, tie it together, and we'll wrap up that mid-range, the rear mid-range and tweeter install. All right, guys. So here we are in the center channel area of our F30. Let's tackle this. It's very straightforward. Um, you can see I've already... I've, I've taken our plastic panel removal tool and I've pried this out. I only like to do it once, um, but it's actually kind of cool. You can see how it comes out now. Um, I start, let's see, I like to start all this stuff up on this front edge and then I just pry down and then I use my fingers to lift it out finally. And that reveals the center channel. And if you have the Harman Kardon, there's going to be a tweeter there. And actually in our early shipments of this kit, even for the base audio cars, we're gonna be shipping a tweeter. Um, we do have a coaxial. This is a prototype, so it actually integrates a tweeter into the mid-range driver. So you can actually see up here where we're gonna pull out this factory mid-range that's a, that's a full range driver, and we're gonna add this coaxial. This is what we'll be shipping, uh, I'm thinking after the first of the year, so 2013, we should be shipping these. But prior to that, um, the kits are actually gonna cost a little bit more because we do have to ship a separate tweeter so we're going to add one of our tweeters here like so and then of course our mid-range will replace that mid-range so let's show you how to do this so we've, we've popped this out carefully um, should you break this they're about 20 bucks at the dealer uh, the dealers stock these just so you know because their technicians break them regularly so uh, but if you're patient and again if it's if it's freezing cold outside uh, use a hair dryer and very carefully warm it up. Don't, don't melt anything, but just stand back here. And if you don't know how to do it, or you're like me and you're bald and you haven't used a hairdryer in 15 years, uh, ask, ask one of your uh, buddies that still has some glorious, a glorious mane to come over and help you out with it. So uh, again, this is in our toolkit. Uh, you definitely want to pick this up when you order this, this kit from us. This is our right angle driver combined with a Torx T20 bit. So all we'll do is we're just gonna break these free and then this is a really cool tool. You can use it in a hundred different applications. So we'll get these out of there. It's a good thing there's a three quarter inch long screw holding this speaker in. Otherwise, so we're actually gonna um, ship you a spacer because this is a very, very, very shallow speaker and an even more shallow cavern that it resides in. So what we're going to do is send you guys a spacer ring that has to go between the speaker and its mounting point. Um, and again, like I said, this is a beta car, so I'm going to be using a couple of little, little spacers here. Um, but in the interim, we'll ship that to you guys. And there's a couple of other little tricks we'll get to here in a moment. So again, this is like watching paint dry. Also, you don't want to drop these screws down the dashboard, believe me. So be cautious with that now. So we'll just pull this little guy out, unplug it, and as you can see, there is a very, very shallow, very shallow <laughs> opening down here. And so what we actually do with our speaker, whether it's the coaxial or it's the full range, depending on when you order the kit, is we've got to pull off this rubber boot. So you can use this now as a beer mug koozie thing. I think that's what, that's what we call them in the South. I don't know what they call them where you live. Um, and so the challenge here is, and it's really difficult to do this sitting down, I'm showing you guys how to do this. When we ship you the rings, it's going to be very straightforward because you're just going to drop it in and like so, you're just going to go just drop it in and plug it in and be on your way. But you can see, as you can see, it's 
pretty, you know, darn tight in there. So we're going to use these quarter inch ring to get that back down in there. And you can see it's going to, it's still even a really tight fit even then. So that sits like so. And so our mid range is going to reside just like that. And then what we will do is our tweeter, you can't really see it, but the tweeter goes right there. Oh, let's see. I can't see. There we go. The tweeter goes like there. So what we actually end up doing is you've got to route the wires for the tweeter over down into here. And in order to do that, there's a little gap right here. You can see this, this perfect little gap. So that's where the wire for the tweeter will go. So we'll go ahead, get our tweeter lined up like so. You can see it lines up perfectly. And then we just tuck this down in there like so and then we plug in our tweeter we plug in our mid-range like so and then we cross our fingers I'm just kidding and then we drop our mid-range down in here and again when you get yours there's gonna be a nice custom cut ring it goes with all this. It makes sure everything sits down nice and flush. Right now it's kind of gangster, as you can see. Am I doing? I can't even see correctly. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, so it'll sit down like that. And then, whoosh, so now we've actually gained the speaker up front, regardless of whether or not it's the coaxial, you can actually see. So again, later shipping dates, we're gonna integrate this tweeter into the mid-range. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the install.